Hi and welcome to Samsung Snap of the Day with me, Steve Wilson. And in a pack show this afternoon, we're going to be looking ahead to the end of a season that's been filled with some incredible new signings and some star performers. So let's have a look at what's coming up. We'll be looking at the latest release in Samsung's range of compact system cameras, the NX200, featuring a groundbreaking 20.3 megapixel sensor, and it's already challenging some of the world's leading SLRs. And we'll be focusing on the MV800. This is Samsung's new signing that's got everybody talking. And we'll be talking to Sarah Jones, Samsung's digital product manager, on why some retailers may find the upcoming Christmas schedule is amongst their most challenging yet. And of course, as usual, I'm joined in the studio by our resident expert, Samsung's national account manager, Andrew Clyde. Hey, Steve. So, let's start with the highlights of today's big game. And if it's an array of brilliant shots you're looking for, then look no further than this. Now obviously Andrew, Fernando Torres scores an absolute blinder here, like any quality striker, one touch, one turn to set up the shot, much like the NX200's revolutionary eye function lens, Andrew. Yeah, that's quite right, Steve. The simple press of the eye function button on the side of the camera and a twist of the manual focus ring is all it takes to adjust features like aperture, shutter, speed and ISO to enable you to get that perfect shot. But it's not only that, it's a nifty little mover too, with its 100 milliseconds shot to shot to enable you to capture that target super quickly and it's 400 milliseconds, sorry, 400 milliseconds shot to shot. That's Premier League ability, isn't it? Yeah, you're quite right. It's certainly what you'd expect from a camera costing maybe twice as much. Okay, stunning stuff, but it's not just about speed. Let's take a moment to focus on the quality and just look at the detail that the NX200 achieves on some of these shots here. Yeah, you're quite right, Steve. Some of these images are incredibly sharp. And don't forget, this is from a camera co with, um, that weighs only 221 grams. So that makes it unbelievably compact and lightweight, but still solid enough to shrug off those tackles. Yeah, speaking of unwanted attention, what's this I'm hearing about the NX200? Been developing a bit of an eye for the ladies. Some of our viewers may have seen this footage on YouTube from the recent European tie in Berlin. Look at the moves on this kid. That new seven-step ISO allows the capture of lifelike colour and detail, even in darker conditions like this, though maybe you ought to lay off the models and concentrate on his game. Yeah, I don't really want to talk about that one, Steve. <laughs> I'm sure you don't. Well, let's go to the NX product manager, Sarah Jones, for her views. Hello, Sarah. Hi, Steve. Right, we've seen some great shots today from the new kid, but what, of course, everybody wants to know is how's he settling in with the rest of the team? Amazingly well, Steve. Don't forget, we only signed the NX200 in September, and he's already mixing it up with players who've been wowing um, photo specialists um, for the last three or four seasons. And of course, we all know how tricky some of these CSCs can be to work with. Well, not anymore. All Samsung cameras use the eye function lenses, including the four new signings we made recently. So that's a total of nine interchangeable lenses across the range, making it a definite SLR league contender. I think you could be right, but... Uh... I'm hearing he might be getting a little bit too sociable these days. You must know he's been seen out in public with a certain hot shoe mountable flash union, hasn't he? I am aware of the rumours in the press, yes. Oh, come on. They've been seen together in Jessup stores nationwide. We've got a photo here. They're in the same box. I mean, there's the evidence. They're definitely an item. OK, it's true. The NX200 does come with a GU8 flash unit, as well as the 18-55mm lens kit, which is exclusive to Jessup's. Lovely, thank you very much, Sarah. But there is one other aspect of the NX200 that's come on in leaps and bounds, namely a bevy of crowd-pleasing trick shots. So, Andrew, how pleased have you been with the new kids' commitment? Yeah, very. Fans today expect great performance, that they can utilise time and time again and in their own way. And I can't think of any camera that can offer the same type of features that the NX200 does. So let's have a look at a few more highlights. <coughs>
Well, I think that's impressive stuff, and I love that magic frame technology, which allows you to put your pictures into one of 13 different theme frames. In fact, Andrew, here's one we did a little bit earlier of you. Your, your big news today. Thanks, Steve. That's great. Okay, we're going to take a short break now, but join us after that when we'll be looking ahead to one of Samsung's hottest new signings for Christmas, the NV800. <laughs> Everyone has an angle. What's yours? Capture light from every angle with a 180 degree flip out display. Discover light from new angles with Samsung MultiView. Welcome back to Samsung Snap of the Day. I'm still here with Andrew Clyde, and now we're going to be focusing on the hot new Samsung signing. This is the NV800. Now, I'll tell you what I really love about this guy. doesn't matter what you throw at him, nothing phases him. Whether it's a self-portrait, a high-angle shot, a low-angle shot, there's just nothing this kid can't do. Yeah, you're right. He seems to have every angle covered. So let's take a look at four of the shots in the NV800's arsenal. Did someone just say arsenal? Then Chelsea, sorry, roll VT. Now some may say that this is vanity, taking self-portraits in the middle of the match. Yeah, but you show me another compact camera where you can see yourself as clearly as this. This is a great touch, like this. Low angle shot without having to crouch down. Again, other compacts wouldn't have the flexibility. And this is an impossible shot over the head of the crowd, totally unique to the MV800. And once again, thanks to that five times optical zoom, you can do that from a distance. And of course, the self-stand feature so that you can make sure you're always in the team photo. And don't forget, this camera now comes with a 26mm wide-angle zoom to enable you to get the whole team into the photograph. So there's the evidence, Andrew, but you're the expert. How exactly can the MV800 pull off such a dazzling variety of shots? Well, the secret is this, a unique three-inch display. Look, it only rotates by 180 degrees to make all those angle shots possible, but it also has a very functional and very simple to use touch screen display, which enables you to get into all the functions and features of this camera to get all those trick shots. Do you know what? That's brilliant, but I love that little blue button there. What does that do? That turns it off. Uh, I'm sorry, Andrew. Thanks. Let's have a look at some of those features, shall we? Nice. Okay. Okay, so he's certainly an incredible shot maker, but I bet Samsung had to spend big to pull off a signing like that. They've certainly been spending on the ad breaks. Well, think again, actually, Steve. One of the most amazing things about the features of this camera is actually the price. And I'll be revealing those bits and pieces a bit, a bit later on. Okay, thanks for the moment, Andrew. But uh, speaking of value, as we approach the end of a really long, hard season on the high street, price may be a key factor in deciding who wins the title of Best Buy at Christmas. So let's catch up with Sarah Jones for an update. Sarah, we all know it's been tough out there for consumers. Budgets are tight and confidence is low. So what type of cameras are going to be hitting the back of the net this Christmas? 
Well, Steve, price certainly is a factor, but it's not the only thing customers are looking for. The MV800 is a great example of innovative technology. It's compact, it's cool, and it's also been made with the customer in mind. If you think about features like the storyboard maker, you can take a shot and turn it straight into a, something useful for Facebook or YouTube, and you don't even need to use a computer. So, what you're saying is that whilst other teams have been really splashing the cash, Samsung have been investing more wisely. Exactly. Customers are looking for the full package nowadays. Great quality pictures, great features, great flexibility, but of course a great price as well. And that brings us to the killer question, how much? Well, for a camera of this quality it really is a bargain, but I'll leave the details to the gaffer. Okay, thank you Sarah for the moment. So, it's over to you Andrew. We've seen Samsung's two great new stars, no doubting their abilities of course. But what the audience will be asking is, when we go into a Jessup store this Christmas, how much is it going to cost me to buy a compact camera of that quality? Okay, Steve. Well, let's have a round up today's players and find out a little bit more. Okay. Let's start off with the MV800, as we've all seen previously. Massive mm -hmm. range of features, including that 3-inch flip-out display, <coughs> but more importantly, a cracking new price. Now only £199, including that, at Jessup's. And now onto the NX200, compact system camera with a huge amount of features and award-winning specifications. But more importantly as well, we get down to the fundamentals, which is the price. £699, including that, at Jessup's. And let's have a look at the whole squad. We look at the defensive lineup. You'll see we've got a few key deals with a 16mm lens and the 5200mm lens on one bolt width deals. The WB710 as well, backing up the rear. The PL20 at 59.95, and of course, our two star strikers, the NX200 and the MV800. Well, I think that speaks for itself. Incredible performance, great teamwork, unbeatable prices. I think the fans are going to be over the moon with this, Andrew. You're right, but what about the competition, Steve? Uh, dare I say relegation? Maybe. Anyway, that's it. I want to thank you very much. Thank you to Andrew. Thank you to Sarah. Thank you for watching. I'm Steve Wilson, and that was Samsung's Snap of the Day.